All right, guys, we're back on the 914. I got my buddy Mike here. He's going to help out today. We're just going to try to start cleaning this metal up and getting it installed. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Got some help today. I'm not used to that. Too tight. Let's try this. Let's see if that'll fit. So they must have put that on before they put the fender on. Mm -hmm. They put the fender on after. I didn't think we were going to do anything today. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. too bad maybe leave a little bit for now like right here mm -hmm. we could always cut back yeah There's multiple layers in there, and uh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to do some pretty serious patchwork right here. the wall. Oh. Kind of see how it's starting to go together though. Yeah. So maybe maybe we should just try to keep um, it's going to be difficult to try to get that out of there. This comes down and has a little lip that connects in here I think. But you can basically, that's it right there. Mm -hmm. I 
guess I could do a little tech screw to hold that in place for a minute. Okay. It fits good in there. Yeah, it does. I wonder if it'd be okay to just uh, lap weld right there. I mean, after we patch patch all this stuff up, if it would be all right to just lap weld that instead of trying to butt weld it. As long as there's good material behind it, I think it'd be okay. It's yeah. just another layer, right? Yeah, and I think lap welding is actually stronger, right? It's because you're overlapping, mm -hmm. so it's a stronger, instead of butt welding. Yeah. I mean, they're both strong, but if you overlap something, it's... And then we could even, like you did on your car, you got that. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they call that piece? The stiffener. The stiffener piece. So it basically replaces or overlaps this and comes out to here. And that would add a lot of strength right there. And I think I could cut this and clean it up, cut this piece out. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That might work. That might work. I mean, it's not. I don't know. We think, big dog. I think you're on the right track. Yeah. This is going to be a long and weary road. Though. <laughs> it already is. It already has been. <laughs> Let's pour it up in it. That goes on the outside, but then we need that other piece to fill in that gap. That yeah, don't turn around and flip the other way? No. It actually goes up higher, but we gotta get it, we gotta figure out how to get it up in here or cut this. Cut it together. Yeah. But then there's another piece here. I know, that's what we were trying to, we were trying to see if, if it, if we could get this piece out, this piece here, because that's what's still in there. Or just figure out how to lap it in there. Uh, butt weld it. I got some hammers over there. They were hammers. <laughs> yeah. All right, have fun. Or crusher. Crusher. Yeah. All right, so we found this original piece here that we that, that I cut off, and you can kind of see where this meets up. So we have to replicate that piece there. And it goes down and has just a little bend so it can match up with that back piece right here. But yeah, that worked out. I saved that piece so you can kind of see this curve. Put that back up there for a minute, Mike. That definitely helps you see right there. Even though it's all boogered up, you can kind of see how this comes down. And it comes back around here, so we just got to figure out how to get that that bend and that little lip under there. And then the floor pan basically goes right up to here. Yeah, that's going to be cool. This is going to be a long and weary road. Guys, it's a couple days later. I want to thank my buddy Mike for coming over and helping out. That was really cool. Kind of nice to have a second set of eyes to help figure out this area right here. It's pretty, pretty complicated area. Still got a lot of work to do. Uh, there's a section that Restoration Design makes that comes from here all the way up there. So I went ahead and ordered that, and it's probably going to take a few days to come in. They're up in Canada, and I'm down in South Florida or Central Florida, so it's going to take a few days. While we're waiting for that, I want to go ahead and get this rear fender or rear quarter cleaned up and get the parts car, get the fender 
<laughs> I want to go ahead and get the rear fender, rear quarter off the parts car. All right, guys, the goal is to get this rear fender off the parts car here and try to take it off like they would have put it on at the factory. It's obviously not going to be as clean and uh, it's a little rustier than it was when they put it on in 1975. But let's go ahead and try to get that off. That's the goal today. Let's do it. I already got the rocker panel off. It just kind of fell off. It's so rusty. And I'm going to go ahead and pull off this stuff like this. Get it out of the way. You could probably save some of this stuff, but if you need new stuff, 914 Rubber makes all of these rubbers and seals. They carry a lot of, a lot of stuff. And of course, Restoration Design has a lot, a lot of the metal. Let's get that seat belt out of the way. This is a 17. And this stuff, guys, it's just, it's just coming off. It's just falling off, basically. See how rusty this is? <laughs> yeah. They have these, they have this whole kit right here too. So you can rebuild your latches. I actually have that kit and we're going to do that probably in the next video. Let's see if we can just pull this off. This is all rusted on here. This Phillips are just, look how rusty they are. Oh, it's crispy, boys. Crispy. Yeah, there's a screw holding it, but it was <laughs> basically just seized in there with the rust. The good thing is this metal right here is better on this one so we might actually be able to transfer some of this not sure yet but we might be able to use some of this metal right here you can see how they put the uh the liner over here let me see if i can get these screws off there they're rusty we might have to cut them off but I need to get this off because there's spot wells back here I want to drill out. This side, this should come out no problem. Oh, it's a little crispy right there. That's okay. We don't necessarily need this part. We have this part from Restoration Design. All right, I'm gonna work on these. We might have to use the 
vice grips or cutoff wheel and just clean the tips off of those. But these, yeah. These aren't moving, so. that chrome piece off of there. You can kind of see these spot welds. We're gonna try to drill all those spot welds out. All right, we got the bumper off. It wasn't too bad. Basically, there's a bolt here, a bolt here on this year. This is a 74, 75, I think. And there's a couple bolts underneath. They were rusted out. So I had to cut these two with the cutoff wheel. The ones underneath came out, no problem. 13 millimeter and this thing is off there's a couple of rubber spacers here very uh simple bumper set up there and i'm just kind of putting everything up here and go through it 1986 guys look at that we got a little ecosystem growing here too check that out that's green some kind of grass of some sort. It looks like carpet, but it's not. Pretty wild. So, the goal here is to drill out all these spot welds. Drill these out. Up to here. And then, there's a couple things underneath, a couple little brackets. This is the replacement piece I got from restoration design so basically we could use this whole thing for the most part and we, we could cut up a little bit if we need to or want to but we could just make a line under here and a line here and cut that thing off As you can see it fits pretty good. This is gonna go here. We got this piece too. We still gotta do some cleanup work. It doesn't, uh, all this stuff's gotta be cleaned up so it'll fit nicer, but, and I think we have to take this off. This is earlier style. Later style, they added this bracket. So we got to take this off and we just use this here. This gives you an idea of what we're doing. Something like that. Obviously, we've got a lot of fitting and cleaning and working to get it where it needs to be, but that's basically what we're going for right there, right? So we need the rest of that panel to complete it. So let's make a line here. It's not exactly where we're going to cut, but it'll give us an idea of where this goes. This is just a general idea. We're not going to cut on this line. All right, so you can kind of see there is basically where we're gonna graft in that new piece. So, 
we could cut somewhere, uh, you know, maybe just go up a few inches to give us some room, some wiggle room. And we could go up higher. We could save all this up to here. And you can see it's pretty rusty right there. This all has to be replaced. So that's where that piece comes down. You know, I don't know if it'd be better to try to save this original piece here. Or, but this is all bad. So this definitely has to come out. Part of this is down in here, so that's all bad. And it's probably, possibly rusty behind there. Um, most likely. This is all bad. All that's gonna get replaced, because this is just junk underneath. I mean, it's probably okay from there up, but then it's rusty up here, so. Yeah, I'm thinking, As long as we don't cut, you know, past here, we'll be fine. That gives us some room on both sides. All right, we got that cleaned up. We got it jacked up. Let's see if we can get that fender off the parts car. Let's do it.
Hmm. All right, guys, that's it for today. <laughs> it is uh, tedious and going slow just because I want to take my time, make sure that I'm doing the best I can to transplant this fender over to this car and figuring out where to cut and all this stuff. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a challenge, really big challenge. So we're getting there just slowly, and there's going to be many challenges ahead of us as far as the metal work and getting all this stuff to line up it's gonna be a lot 
but we'll just slowly ease into it. Hopefully it's gonna work. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get this thing off of here and get it transplanted over. It's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. This whole rear thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I enjoy the challenge. I'm having fun. I uh, just hope that we can see a little more progress hopefully soon. All right, guys. See you soon. Take care. It's going to be a long and weary road. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.